PC James Burke, a British Transport Police Constable, faced a misconduct hearing this week after misusing his pepper type spray on a man in Leeds and later playing loud music on his phone in front of a mentally ill man in Huddersfield. PC Burke, who lived up to his name, answered five allegations that he breached the standards of professional behaviour, namely honesty and integrity, equality and diversity, discreditable conduct, authority, respect and courtesy, and duties and responsibilities. Out of the five allegations, four were proven. These four were that PC Burke, in April 2020, knowingly made false statements about being permitted to drive police response vehicles. In that case, I wonder if he got done for no insurance. In December 2020, made false, misleading or inaccurate statement to a chief inspector in reflective practice meetings. In April 2021, behaved inappropriately while supervising a man detained under the Mental Health Act in hospital in Huddersfield, playing loud music on his phone. And in March 2021, used cap to spray unnecessarily on a detained man at Leeds Station. We don't see that happening all too often now, is it? Burke was deemed to have breached the standards of professional behaviour in respect to honesty and integrity, disc discreditable conduct and authority, respect and courtesy. Burke, of course, resigned before the misconduct hearing, which was held in York in his absence. But the panel found him guilty anyway. The panel found that PC Burke's behaviour did amount to gross misconduct and he would have been dismissed without notice from the force had he not already resigned. Detective Superintendent Pete Fulton, British Transport Police's Head of Professional Standards Fuck me, that was a mouthful. Former PC Burke demonstrated an incredibly concerning pattern of repeatedly wrong, repeated wrongdoing and blatant dishonesty both of which are simply not compatible with being a police officer. I think you're getting yourself confused. It's exactly what you want as a police officer, isn't it? If the officer chooses to resign before a gross misconduct hearing, he, we will still pursue the proceedings against them in order to protect public confidence and spend public money. I mean, and should the allegations be proven, ensure they're not able to work as a police officer again. But this is simply not true, is it? There are many that have been found guilty of offences and not been sacked or not been put on a barred list. So to suggest that anyone found guilty during proceedings will be barred from being in the police is simply horse crap. Isn't it now? Thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other film the police and other officials. Mm -hmm.